my what did you learn this week is a little intense. What? Um, it's not like exactly related to zoos, so I didn't know if like you want to go first or second. Mine's related to zoos. Okay, All right, I'll go, go first, first. But like this might. Hopefully, you can bring the mood back up. I don't know. What oh, about. it's sad. And it's going to be sad to you, and I don't know if you heard about it. What? Um, okay. Oh, my so gosh. What does this mean? recently, in the last week, week? Uh, a beached whale was oh, dead. It was oh, found a beached on the beach. Whale. Like, I don't know if you heard about this. So, basically, it was in the Philippines, and it was a pregnant female um, that they found. And it was like the, What kind of whale? Uh, it was, it's a beaked whale. A Oh, Cuvier's beaked whale. Cuvier's beaked whale. Yeah, that, yeah I know exactly that? what you're talking about. Interesting whale, very okay. interesting. Not my favorite, so don't worry. <laughs> okay. Okay. Keep going. Wait. So it actually wasn't a pregnant female. It was what? a male that had 40 kilograms of plastic in its stomach. Oh, I did hear about this. Isn't yeah. that so disturbing? Yeah. So basically, 40, 40 kilograms. kilograms. That's like half of my body, if not more. Wait, in the form of... So, basically, like, there's a quote here I, I wrote down. It says, as we started to pull it out, the first one was a grocery bag, and then it was literally just bag after bag that, after bag. Oh, my God. And they said that it had calcified into, like, what would be a hard sphere the size of two basketballs. Is that what made it become beached? Yeah, so basically, they, they was like, it, it would have starved to death because it would have been... Eat, like, it was saying something about... They were saying that, like, the plastic is so much more plentiful, so it would have been eating plastic, starving to death, but but not actually getting any nutrients, but being so full and uncomfortable, and that the stomach acid would have been working. This is really gruesome. I'm this sorry. This is so awful. And the for stomach- anyone, it's a it's a podcast space, but I'm holding my left hand over my chest. Just picture a gay guy. When going, I was reading about this, I actually was like, humans are so messed up. And the Sadly, this is the kind of thing, like, I obviously use plastic all the time with sometimes without thinking about it at all. And these are the kind of things that stop you in your tracks. And you're like, wait, why? Why am I using so much plastic without even thinking about it? Rachel, who uh, we work with, who is a plastic expert, mm-hmm. once said this to me, which I think is so interesting. Plastic was early 1900s. It was invented. It's genius. It's a brilliant... In terms of, like, a, yeah, material. Yeah, a polymer. Mean, right? It's yeah. a polymer. It's a scientific, like beautiful material but what humans have done is used it in so many excessive ways Mm -hmm. they haven't we haven't used it as the beautiful sort of rare thing that it should be we've just used it to make convenience all left right and center and therefore it the reason it's beautiful is it doesn't break down it is durable all these things but that I thought was an interesting way to think of it. It's like yeah. we have messed right, this up. Right, it is up. amazing. It's a, it's okay to acknowledge that an amazing invention has been used yes, poorly exa- yeah, in, in the long run. Sure, sure. Um, like yeah, the last gruesome detail I'll say uh. is that they had said that like the stomach acid would have to work so strong to break down the plastic that it would have caused the stomach lining to weaken, like which ulcers. meant like yeah, and then which meant like the simple things like squids and stuff that it would normally eat were like puncturing its stomach and just would have led to oh internal bleeding. Oh my bleeding god, that's stuff. so awful. So okay, it was very very gruesome when I read the whole article, but it makes but, you realize like that's if that's just one whale, like think of. I don't know. And there's literally like an a island of plastic called the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, which is three times the size of France. Yeah, no, okay. So this is true. So I've read, I just finished an article about the young guy trying to go clean that up with machinery. That's true. That is very true. What you've just said about this beached whale is true. And talking about the vaccine episode last time, sometimes what we even came to the conclusion of is talking about the sadness of kids who are now have measles is sometimes what people need to hear in order to like take action. To remind you. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, not that it's a good thing, but hopefully this will be the more and more wake up call that people actually yeah. need to go. And so that stop. machine that meant to go clean up this uh, plastic island the size of France actually broke down. It didn't work. So a lot of scientists who are more into the concept of actually like us as humans having to like decrease. Preventative. Yeah. Preventative measures, which are not nearly as sexy, not nearly as fun, but that is gonna be the main thing in our lives that we need to think about so i'm i'm glad you brought that up even though that's mm-hmm. obviously so sad it's harsh yeah 